Hey, if you're exhausted from trying to create the perfect prompt for AI tools like ChatGPT, I'm gonna give you this one master prompt you can use that will instantly improve your results. My name is Kevin and on this channel, I show entrepreneurs like you the best tools you can use to make more, spend less, and work less. If you've ever used AI to write anything like an email or blog post, nine times out of 10, you get back generic, unusable garbage. So after weeks of experimentation, I actually figured out a way to have ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, or really any other generative AI improve your prompts for you so that you don't have to do any of these complex operations by yourself. So right here on the screen is the only prompt you're going to need. And you can just check the description if you wanna just copy and paste it directly into whichever chatbot you're going to use. But let me show you how it works in action. Oh, and if you couldn't tell already, I'm a little sick right now, but hey, the show must go on. So here we are in ChatGPT, and I'm gonna show you side by side what the difference is with using my master prompt and just doing a one-shot prompt like a lot of people do. So let's hear on the left side, we say something like, write me a blog post about the keto diet. Let's say you said something really basic like that. And so you let's start that on the left side. And then on the right side, we paste in my master prompt. And so what this prompt does is it's actually telling ChatGPT to be a generative AI prompt engineering expert. And it's telling it its task is to take simple prompts and to complete them and make them more specific. Also, before doing the prompt, ask me for additional context and any other relevant information needed to improve the prompt along with your recommendation. Acknowledge this context with yes or no. So now we've primed ChatGPT to not only improve our prompt, but if it needs more information from us to improve the prompt, it will prompt us to provide that information so that you can give that information in a natural human way. So if we try the exact same thing now, write me a post about the keto diet. And so you can see right now it's coaching you. It's saying, wait a minute, I need some more information from you. Tell me about your target audience. And it's giving you recommendations are they beginners, experienced dieters, or people with specific health goals? So it's giving you ideas for how to approach this because we put in here that you also wanted to not just ask you the questions, but to give you recommendations, right? And what's the tone and style? Formal, conversational, scientific, motivational. What are some of the key points? Meal planning, scientific evidence, comments, so on and so forth. The length, the sources and evidence, call to action. Is there a specific call to action? So maybe you want them to sign up for your newsletter or maybe you want them to take on your coaching program. And so you just have to now go through these points. You don't have to answer all of them, but the more details you provide, the better. But you don't need to know any fancy prompts. You could say, my target audience is new moms looking to get, to get back in shape. The tone should be friendly but informational focus on the benefits make it 1000 words so we touched on length i think we can leave sources and evidence out say for example and let's just say the cta which is call to action should be to sign up for my my coaching program boom enter so while it's doing that, let's see what it did here on the left side. You can see, unlock the power of the keto diet, a comprehensive guide. What is it, the keto diet? How does it work? Benefits of the keto diet. Potential and foods to enjoy, avoid. it. It's fine. It's just incredibly generic. Now, let's go back to here and you'll see that it's now written us a way better prompt that you can use. You can just copy in this prompt and paste it back in here. Or you can just say run this new prompt and just look at how much more already you can see targeted this is for your target audience. Say, for example, we were some kind of fitness coach or weight loss coach and we were targeting new moms or something like that. Right. So you can see here and it's continuing to write. It's also way longer common concerns and misconceptions. Next steps together. Taylor plan lesson park on your journey together. 
and you'd obviously include your link in here to take your fitness program or whatever it is. So as you can see here, without you having to know anything about prompt engineering, you were able to create a way better prompt and it actually coached you on how to do this. And let me show you some examples in Gemini and Claude. And again, my prompt here will work in pretty much any generative AI app. So here's the prompt right here and you can see Gemini acknowledges it. And this time we said, hey, write me a script for a TikTok video for five ways to make money from home. And so it's prompted us with, hey, who's the target audience? What's the video style? And again, it's giving us suggestions. Let's focus on specific options. And so you can see, I just answered those questions in a very natural way. And it spit out a pretty good TikTok script for us. Now hopping over to Claude, you see the exact same prompt. Claude acknowledges it. And I said, this time, write me an email promoting my new five day meditation challenge. I'm using examples from different industries. I don't know what industry you're in. So you can see here, Claude did a pretty good job of giving us 10 questions that we need to answer. Who's the target audience? Is it beginners? What's the unique benefit or selling point? Is there a specific theme or focus? Will the challenge be online and so on and so forth? Is it free? What's the call to action? Are there some pain points? These are some really great questions questions is as if Claude is like our assistant asking us or our coach assisting us with making sure that we include all of the things we need to make a great compelling email. So you can see here, I simply answer all of these questions using a lot of the suggestions Claude gave me. And then you can see here that it's written a brand new prompt for us that we can then use to create a great email. So then what we do is we just simply copy and paste that prompt and you can see here that Claude has then written out a really great email for us based on that really detailed description that Claude just wrote for itself. <laughs> So this master prompt will work for pretty much anything you ask it, regardless of what industry or topic, but now it's your turn. Let me know in the comments down below if you do try my prompt, what kinds of outputs you get, and if it really does help you make content faster without being a prompt engineer. If you got some value out of this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more AI content. Now, if you want another great AI video, check out this one right here.